Okay, Lauren's lost her mind. Just van so vanity and narcissism doesn't go hand in hand. Vanity is an essential skill. Oh, okay. I'm looking at hairstyles. Appointment isn't until next week. I like to get excited, get my intentions. I think it's so much easier when you go in and you're like very, very clear on like the terminology and what you want and where you want things to fall and blah, 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 blah. I am getting layers and I wanna keep a good amount of length. I wish my hair was down to show y'all, but yeah, whatever. So I'm thinking like my shortest layer will probably be like right at my jawline or maybe my ear. Look at my absolute shortest layer. I wanna keep as much length as possible, kind of like a V cut, but I feel like that is annoying to grow out. Like I feel like I've kind of had that before. Honestly, my hair just looks really, really heavy when it's curly. It looks really heavy when it's straight. Not having a haircut, I feel like my hair looks like it doesn't have a haircut. And I don't like that. It just means some of are like really rude. Thank you, Butler. Ha! Whoa. Ha! Ha! And I'm done. Yes. White rice. Mm hmm Hot wings. Mm hmm And green beans. Okay, it's falling off the bone. It's a good sign. <laughs> I'm nervous. I know you are. You should be. This is my first time making it, so. Mm. Open to constructive. About a little bit on the corner of your mouth, I can tell you like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not even a hot wing girl. Oh, these are good. These are good. Oh, thanks. You keep your job. Yay. Mmm. And they're tender. Oh. Now it's just like split open, ready for you. It's sexual. Wow. How really I do myself. Mmm. 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 Just agree Ooh. with what? You? Yeah. I'm not a narcissist. We're not doing How this. How is this not? We can do facials and we can do narcissism <laughs> tests. I don't know what you want from me, but we are not doing both tonight. Okay, Lauren's lost her mind. Just van so vanity and narcissism doesn't go hand in hand. Vanity is an essential skill. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to know. Oh, shit. Okay, it's under four inches. I told you. I was like, it's not bigger. Okay. But it, look, on camera, look. You can make your forehead look huge. Look how big it looks right now. It's bulbous. Mine always looks huge on my camera too. That's also the lighting. Like if I just knock some shine off. Yeah. It wouldn't look. See, look, everything's changed. Okay. Boom. What do you? Eight inches as it was before. Ear. Look, it's not. Yes. Isn't that crazy? And I don't even have a nose bridge. Like, look, I don't have a nose bridge at all. I guess I don't need my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't know. Just, that's why after my glasses, <laughs> <laughs> they come off. <laughs> they come off. Don't have any. Do you need a strap in the back? I could. <laughs> if I'm athletic. <laughs> if I'm athletic. Yeah, look, ten and a half. Ten and a half. And then, I feel like if I was oval. See, look. If I was oval, my oh, face would be longer. Yes. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, now see? I'm looking at the chart. It doesn't give oval. I don't have a, a round enough chin. Yeah. But the oval face shape is coming back. I've heard that. I mean, I'm not. Like, it, it does give heart. Mm -hmm. look, look again. Look again. Look again. I could see now. Yeah. And then if I do my strap. Now that we've analyzed. And I've seen the different shapes. Show, show them how you're being mean to me. No, <laughs> it's not mean to me. No, like, before, hey, I, before like, I overreact, let's see what she, she said I look like this. That was before. This bitch. Before we analyzed and I saw all the different shapes. Honestly, the more I look at all of them, they all look really bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay, I'll, okay. I'll relax. I'll do mine. I'm gonna wash the tape. I feel like this is gonna hurt my feelings. Oh, I should have done my cranium. <laughs> Wow, foot long. But I think it's just cheekbones. Because if they're not there, right. where else would they be? Interesting. Let's do your neck. Okay, yeah. Let's do your head. You guys comment below and let us know what our face shapes are. Don't hurt my feelings. No, exactly. I was like, <laughs> can you feel that? Yes! Okay. <laughs> She's literally poking. 
I mean the back of my head like this. <laughs> just like this. I'm just like a get... bad kid. No, I'm not. I'm trying to look. I'm just trying to get to the to the depth. Okay, already? Lord. <laughs> I can feel how crooked it is. It's the same. Ooh, I'm not surprised. I feel like we both have peanut heads. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, it's it's still there. You think I have a small head? Wow. I don't have a small head. Oh, when okay. I say peanut, 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 no, I'm like, in the shape of like. A, oh, okay. Because I was like, I like, think I have a big head. No, like a roasted peanut. You know oh. how they got the you know the little part chin, <laughs> and then look. Really, I could just use myself as a tiger. <laughs> and then they have yeah. the bulbous part that you eat. Yeah, peanuts. Nothing wrong with it. Better than the pe like peanut. Yeah, that kind of peanut. Well, that, that's how Doug was born, and then his little slowly formed. You give birth, and they have to like pull the head. Mm mm hmm. Isn't that what happens? Wait, some girl. Oh no, he was a C-section baby too. Oh, then you have no excuse. I don't. I don't know what to say. Well, now it's giving thirty-six. What does that mean? I was thirty-five and one fourth. But I don't have like super super small tits. Interesting. So it's like this it, when you go down in your. It's like if you were a thirty. Two. No, if you were a thirty instead oh. of a thirty-two. Wait, what is your bra size? Thirty-two B. Okay, so you'd be a C. You'd be a thirty C. So oh. like I'm a thirty-two B, but it fits. Oh god. Yeah, so you go down. So it just sounds better. Mm. <laughs> to the gym since before Thanksgiving but my appetite hasn't been where I wanted it so I don't go to the gym unless I feel like I'm not going to lose weight going to the gym if that makes sense but before I even go to the gym I get my coffee go for my walk so I'm really excited to do that like I haven't had a day where I do absolutely nothing don't talk to anyone don't do anything don't fucking nothing 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 like nothing like in my bed rotting nothing like i need those days for myself and like almost to the point where it's like at the end of the day you feel ashamed that is how much i need to do nothing but that is not today okay so i just got out of the shower i already set my hair mask when i'm about to blow out my hair i shampoo it too because if you product in your hair your blowout it will look like it it'll have like that that lick put on some k18 this has to stay in your hair for about four minutes and then i put it back on my towel because i want i don't want to spend tons of time blow drying my hair use two things from peter coppola this is amazing it smells so good it is the best blow dry ever um this goes with the keratin that is in my hair that is one of the reasons why i use it it's also just fantastic like it just makes your hair so shiny and then recently I started adding in the Coppola Infusion Anti-Frizz Cream. Guys, 
together. Together we can shoot the moon, drop the rain, even ride a hurricane. If you know where that's from, you're a Chia sister. When it comes to hair care, I believe it's thinnest to thickest, so spray and then the cream. So I'm gonna be scientific this time. I'm gonna actually section my hair so that I get the best results. You don't need tons, just enough to like saturate it. Not saturated, it doesn't need to be dripping, but just make sure every strand is taken care of. So I'll do two pumps in the go In the hair, prayer hands. I do roughly blow dry my hair. So I'll do like the roots with just a regular blow dryer. I keep it on warm and low and I just try and get the roots because it takes it takes so long guys. Like, it, it can take so long if you don't just like do the roots. There's something about, especially because I use the Revlon brush, so that just makes it, it's, it's good, but it's so large that it's not gonna get your roots, and once you do get to your roots, it just takes forever, but like, it just cuts down on time. Once my roots are like lifted, and like looking like this, that's when I know, and they're like low-key, like dry to the touch, then you're good. Well, depending on the thickness of your hair, five to ten minutes, but it really shouldn't take too long if you're just doing your roots. And this is my favorite tool. Um, it's it's good, but it gets so 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 hot. I do get worried that I'm like, I don't know. I just get worried about it burning my hair sometimes. Cause it just because it is metal, it just keeps getting hotter. Slow and deliberate passes. And I feel like that's when I get the best results. If you just go at it like, like you're, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I put it on just like the regular first little speed. I've had this for so long. I don't even know if it used to have the numbers or whatever. And the key is, I mean, don't really worry about the passes, worry about it getting dry like this. It's like, okay, cute, but I know this is not dry. This is not actually dry. So, and the more your hands are kind of like in your hair, it's going to be hard to distinguish when your hair is dry, but you, it should fall a certain way when it's dry. This is not dry. Okay. Do you see how it's falling different? It's dry. So I've done the base layer, but now I'm putting in like a heat protecting serum. This is the Amica Blockade. I love this when your hair is dry, but you want to protect it and you want to like style it. So I'm putting this in. It also doesn't make your hair heavy. It smells really good. You know, all the things. But I noticed since my hair wasn't like, you know, super wet. It just needs a little more so that it's like properly styled. So I was like, let me put this in and then I'm gonna go over it um, to like style it now. And then you can either put it in rollers, you can do whatever you want. Somehow, some kind of way, if you're just gonna blow dry it. So I'm just gonna do a little. I don't want to keep it long, so I'm gonna do pin curls. So I'm just, I literally just roll it in my hand. And I keep it, the looser you do it, the less it's going to like properly curl. Pin it to my head. Okay, so my hair is setting, and I'm going to finish cleaning my room and laundry and things like that while it cools. Um, it's literally still warm to the touch. I can feel that it's warm. So I literally wait until it's cool, like completely cool before I even think about taking them out. Hours later, I took a nap. I just want to bop around and be cute. But they're plenty cool now to the touch. I think I ended up doing six because the front, there's just too much in the front. It is every time. I always wear freaking black when I'm doing my hair as if y'all can see, but... I just zhuzh it around a little bit, separate the curls. This also would be a good time to 
put something on my hands just so it's not bone dry. And I'm not gonna rake through them. I kind of would just lift them and let them go. Um, just because I feel like they're in a delicate state. And then just kind of re-wrap little pieces. The shortest pieces of my hair go to my boobs. That is not, that is not a haircut. That is not, oh, it's just so tacky to me. Not tacky. No, it is. It's tacky to me. It's tacky to me to not have a haircut. It's tacky to me to have like one note hair like that. Like I just think it's not, it's not cute. It's not doing anything for my face. I just, it's not, it's not it. It has movement, has body. I love it. I love being able to just blow out my hair. Like it's a dream. It's, oh, yes. But if you do like a sleeker look, go over it with a straightener. Um, I, or, 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 if you're trying to save on the heat that you're putting on your hair, you just want a little bit of like a shine, a bounce, something like that. This is the Amica Blow Blowout Brush. This only gets up to like 350 degrees. There's not even temperatures on it. It gives yourself like the flick. Like if you think that it might be too hard to do the curls, you've never done it before, but you want the flick, this gives you the flick. It's such a good touch up item to have if you blow out your hair often because it is like it's low heat and because the brush like it only one part of it this part is the only part that gets hot so the rest of the whole thing doesn't heat up anyways so it really is a good way to like touch your hair up and not like feel awful about it this is the amica confidant this gives me some of the best shine this one in the t3 the only reason i don't use my t3 more is because i have the one that is a touch screen and i cannot read it and i don't have <laughs> It, it, I don't have the instructions anymore, so it's just a lot easier to use this one. But they both provide shine. They're both like a decently lightweight. It's kind of just up to you. I would recommend just getting the regular. You don't need that touch screen shit. That's how I do my hair. Now I'm gonna pick out some outfits. Well, not pick out outfits. I kind of need to style some stuff. I kind of want to do some holiday, um, holiday outfits. Bro, I really. Oh, there's such a cute dog in the window over there. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, it's so cute. Let me show you some of my like recent additions. Everything's very holiday. This is just like a crushed velvet tank top. It's still so warm here in Houston that like this is about as. That's so cute, actually. The more I'm looking at this, like this color, I need to try this on. I haven't tried any of this stuff on, so we'll see. But cute with like a really pretty pant i don't know cute this is corduroy i don't have any corduroy i don't have corduroy anything but i also don't have a green blazer or really any blazer that's like a color so i was just like this is cute for like a little holiday like a lunch or something not my voice going up eight octaves the second i put on color like but you know what i mean like it's like if there's something very smart about this you know me i love a blazer y'all like, i'm a blazer Girl. And it's actually on the hanger. I wasn't a fan. Like when it arrived, I was kind of like, okay, cool. But I wasn't like thrilled about it. But this is cuter than I thought. Uh, I don't like what I'm wearing underneath, obviously. Sweats and tank tops not gonna get it done. But I'm getting ideas now because I'm like, this is actually quite cute. And maybe just over something with like a tiny little dress. I don't, I don't know. But the color is better than I thought. It's more comfortable than I thought. And I really like the way it fits my shoulders, which is like the most important thing to me. Like, please fit my little shoulders, please. So, okay. Okay. I kind of wish it was a little more oversized, but I'm not mad at it either. Because it, it'll probably, like with heels, might give like a, a very like tailored fit. I don't know. This is definitely more of like a casual, not casual. This is a casual blazer. Just because it has rouge sleeves up to me, I'm like, cash. But, y'all see the vision? It's giving like, I don't know, I feel like this is like classic. This is like a classic thing to wear to like a holiday, like work event. I would obviously, these are the pants, I'm not gonna put them on. The color's insane. That's what I liked. I was like, the color, if it looks anything like it does online, I was like, it looks so fucking sexy like oh i love the color Ooh, i 
feel like we could do something really, really cute with like hair up, a big like bang maybe, and then cute, cute, cute shoes, and then something very, very small underneath or even sheer. I have this like completely see-through bra that would look really, really cute. Because I like that. I like that juxtaposition of lingerie and um, suits and separates. I think that's like made for each other. To be honest, I will be taking a quick sabbatical to go on Pinterest. Now that I've tried everything on and I'm like, okay, 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 like I know how it fits, um, then I should go on Pinterest and kind of just see what I'm in the mood for. Oh, shiny. But what else is new? In the kitchen, about to start cooking. Don't my boobs because I'm wearing like this weird, not weird, it's cute. I filmed holiday content, hence the red lipstick. I don't know why I'm wearing a chain, just ignore me because I'm about to cook. Wow, the boobs look crazy. The boobs look crazy. I'm gonna have to take this off real quick. I personally can't look at that. Oh, there's this garlic butter shrimp with broccoli and it has like all these spices and whatnot, so it should be good. And I think I'm gonna do it over my favorite rice. So that's my plan. I'm watching Love Island, Australia. And I'm waiting for Andrew to get off work so we can, so we can just, uh, so we can do, look, so we can do absolutely nothing. I can just look at his face literally while he tells me about Yellowstone. I don't know, but that's my plan. <laughs> Eat up a bag of Uncle Ben's? Yes, I don't have the energy. Like, for as much as I eat rice, I don't have the energy. But I have an eye. I think, I don't know if it's a rice cooker specifically, but our place is putting out like a cooker. It might be a crock pot. So maybe you can do at some point. And he's like, let's just taste it. Mmm. <laughs> I was afraid because there's like a few steps. It might be like overcooked. You know, shrimp cooks fast as fuck. It's really good. Mmm. But why is the broccoli better? Mmm. Like, it's holding the flavor really, really well. If you want more calories, I definitely recommend putting it over some rice because it just bangs. Like, mmm. So good. You know it's good when I be rushing off camera. I be rushing. I be like, bro, I'm ready to watch my show and eat okay so <clears throat> i had extra lemon left over so i squeezed half of it into some hot water and then i added this little recess powder because like frankly i need some magnesium i need to calm the fuck down <sighs> this week i've booked a few <clears throat> sorry i've booked a few different wellness sessions so you will be enjoying that this week i'm so excited just to like chill out relax but also explore some wellness things that i've just been curious about so this is far too hot i shouldn't touch this yeah not yet <clears throat> and so i think it's really important especially before starting a new year, the holidays, it's just so much sometimes. Although I'm in one of the absolute lowest plans, like I struggle to use up all my class pass um, credits. So especially in a month like this when I'll be just doing God knows what, where, it's nice to just like know I'm gonna use at least a majority of them before I go. But yeah, so I'm excited. I'm gonna go take my makeup. While well, it's cool, I'm gonna take my makeup off because it's like the perfect amount of time it'll take for that to get cool. And because I'm ready to like 
properly look at myself and relax.